Hey, this is Victor with HTC One Softmodder. Today I'll be showing you how to get S off on your HTC One. First, we'll need to do a few things. Number one, you'll need to uninstall HTC Sync if you have it. If you don't have it, you probably already uninstalled it or you don't have the HTC drivers. You need the HTC drivers, so the easiest way to get those is to just install HTC Sync. Then once that's done, you can get rid of the program, but the drivers will still be there. Second, disable any lock screen on your phone, whether it's a passcode lock, pattern lock, face lock. A normal lock screen is fine, but to be safe, just disable it. It's the easiest way. Third, enable USB debugging on your device. And if you need any details on any of this, check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Monitor there will be screenshots in more detail. For now, we need to do something on our computer. Right click my computer or computer if you're on a newer version of Windows. Go to properties. Go to advanced system settings and environment variables. On your path you want to add at the end of whatever you have there I'm just deleting this because I no longer use it but you want to add the location of your ADB tools so for my computer that's C SDK tools so I'll type C colon backslash SDK dash tools click OK and here under system variables do the same thing here I'm not going to delete anything just go end put a semicolon and do the same thing OK, OK, and OK. Now if you press Windows R, you'll get a run prompt. Then you can type CMD to get a command prompt and ADB devices, just to test. OK, there's my HCC one. We can close out of this and go back to our download here. This moonshine zip is the method we're using to get S off. It's called moonshine. And you just want to extract that zip to any folder you want. My phone is already connected to my computer. They recommend you avoid USB 3.0 ports because some of time some of some of the time they have issues with connectivity. Then run distiller.exe. Read their warning and then type yes. They'll give you some pointers, things you should know and warnings. So if any of this seems daunting to you or you're hesitant at all, you're not sure, I recommend you just stick with the HTC Dev Bootloader Unlock because it's safer and most of the functionality that you could ever want is in there. Even installing custom kernels which has traditionally required SOF is now possible with HTC Dev because developers are awesome. Now SOF is a more complete bootloader unlock. It unlocks the other partitions on your phone that HTC Dev does not. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to change the 
bootloader and the recovery on my device. Also, if you want to install a different radio or other firmware, you would need to do this. But this is the main reason I'm doing it. Also, you can change the model of your device. You can trick the bootloader into thinking it's something else. And you can change the what is called the CID of your device, which tells it which version of a device it is. Or you can use the Super CID, which lets you do pretty much anything you want. As you can hear, my device is restarting. Everything is going well so far. There it goes on my computer, it's detected. And now we just wait. Hopefully not too long. One more thing you should know, when you, with S off, you can finally get rid of that tampered warning on your bootloader and on your splash screen where it says that this build is only for development purposes. That you can get rid of those use, uh, by f installing mods. So basically you can make your phone look like it's stock even though you've unlocked it installed a custom recovery and everything okay it's rebooting again You can hear my USB going on and off. And my phone rebooting. And finally, it's telling me that we are getting us off. Now you'll notice that it says here that my CD drive is HTC Sync Manager. That's not really true. That's just my phone. You know, when the stock ROM is detected by USB, it has HTC Sync already on there in case you need it and you don't have an internet connection. but I made sure to uninstall HTC Sync. I don't want to mess up this phone. It's really important. Rebooting once again. There goes Windows 8 telling me to tap my computer even though I don't have a touch screen.
again. And my phone is rebooting again. I should count how many times it reboots. I guess it's doing it again. Now, even though they say all this stuff about not doing this for any reason, and it's super important to do this, they really wouldn't release it unless it was mostly safe. So unless you really mess up, there's really not a great chance you'll mess up your device. So if that's what's holding you back, I would disregard what they say, at least in terms of how dangerous it is. They just don't want people coming to bug them saying that they bricked your phone. This is true for really most mods and things like that, but with messing with the firmware, the bootloader, that's a little more a little more dangerous. It looks like we might finally be done soon. This is my first time doing this on this phone, so I don't exactly know how long it's going to take. Because if I did, I would have to return it to stock again and then run through this whole process again, which is really a hassle. So I'm just trusting them to get this to work. Okay, and it looks like it did. I'll take some pictures that, and put them on the full tutorial so that you can see that my phone is truly S off. But for now, thanks for watching. Remember to check out the full tutorial for more details and the download links. And remember to like our video, subscribe to SoftModder, and look, keep an eye out for our next tutorial. Thanks again.